welcome back to my channel it's Wendy here from Toon Fish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay today I'm going to be trying out Vista Turbo now Vista Turbo is a new fast curing faster curing resin from Vista Viva Vista I'll put all the links in the description but trying to find out curing times is a little bit difficult now they do say it, it depends on the room temperature the humidity how deep you're pouring it but I thought you know what I'm just gonna have to try it I did actually ask them but I didn't get a reply so I thought you know what I'm just gonna have to try it myself time it and share it with you guys so, <laughs> so let's see how I go on with this so this is flower pot mold that I've got from Amazon and I will link it below I'll be using this Vuba Vista turbo with this now it does come with cascade part a basically it's a different curing system so it's cascade part A and turbo part B so this bit might actually confuse you I've split it up times two so that it doesn't take so long because I wanted to do it accurately when I poured it but I'm pouring part B first so part B I'm doing 100 grams and part A I'm doing 200 grams it is two to one by weight Therefore, you need accurate scales to be able to measure this out. And these are quite cheap. These were £12, I think, the scales I'm using. You can get them on Amazon, and I will link that as well down below. So the reason that I do part B first is because it's thinner than part A. If you pour part A first, you're more likely to get sticky bits at the bottom of your cup because it's thicker and it will sink and it will stay there. If you pour part B first, because it's at the bottom, part A will sink through part B <laughs> and hopefully mix better. Oh, I really don't know if I am explain things properly, but yeah, that's what I do. So I'm stirring for full three minutes and scraping the sides. And I thought I'd give you the clock actually so that you've got the accurate time of everything I'm doing. Now there are fractions of a second missing here and there but that's because there was dead space when nothing was actually happening on camera and, and I cut those out, I always do. But you can see the time of when things are happening and you can also see the temperature that is a nice 22 degrees inside. So I'm just giving the mould a quick squeeze at the bottom to get rid of any trapped air that might be down below before I fill up the mould completely but this one is not going into the pressure pot if anyone saw the shoe that I did I totally wished I hadn't put it in the pressure pot this one's not going to go in the pressure pot that's what I've decided so this green thing is a Christmas tree hanging wire now they're ideal because they're coated in plastic you can twist them and turn them and use them to get out trap bubbles from underneath lips and this particular mould does have Quite a nasty lip that I need to get the bubbles out from. A quick squirt with isopropanol alcohol and I'm going to leave it to one side to cure. So as I've still got some resin left over that's mixed up, I thought, you know, coaster mould, this is my go-to. So I grabbed a coaster mould and I did a small reverse ink drop with the rest of the resin to see how it cured with the inking. Obviously ink does make it cure slower, so it would be interesting. I'm going to be using Let's Resin alcohol inks as I have quite a lot of them and they are vibrant colours, they are lovely inks actually. So I'm just using the three inks, Sapphire Blue, Rose Red, and purplish red. So recapping, I started mixing the resin at 116. That's a weird number I know, but that's the time it was. I started to pour the resin into the vase mould at 120. It is now 127 and I'm pouring into the second mould i.e. the coaster mould with the inks in so 
So it's now four minutes past four, the same afternoon. This is quite weird to me. It is exactly two hours, 48 minutes after I started mixing this resin, which also tells me it's two hours, 37 minutes since I poured the resin into this coaster mold. Now it is quite soft round the edges. Now we are talking extreme edges. The rest of it isn't soft. And that's the ink that's done that. Ink will soften the top of the surface of whatever you've poured it into. Does that make sense? Maybe. So I'm just going extremely pensive around the edge just to de detach the mold from the resin. I don't have any gloves on because I'm not worried about fingerprints. This is just a trial anyway. However, I do like the colours, I've got to admit, they are gorgeous. So yeah, being a little bit pensive, but just demoulding it. So now on to demoulding the vase and the mould is one I haven't used before. So it was a little tricky trying to figure out how to do it, but good old isopropanol alcohol did it again. Just squirted it down the side and twisted it so that it released and then it just popped out. So this is two hours and 47 minutes after I poured the resin. or two hours, 51 minutes from when I started mixing the resin. This actually really shocked me. It was so, so quick. I know it's a lovely 22, 23 degrees in my room, but still. So the question now is, would I have known to get it out of the pressure pot in two hours, 45 minutes? I don't think so. I don't think I would have gone there. I know there's a lot of bubbles in this and it probably did need the pressure pot. I would not have known it was ready to come out. So as you saw, the first one didn't go according to plan, but the resin did cure extremely fast. It did go a little yellow. I don't know if you can see it in this light. And there are umpteen bubbles in there. But when you're curing, when something's curing quickly, it doesn't have a chance to get rid of the bubbles. So if you don't have a pressure pot for something this big, then you're going to get bubbles. But it still did the job. It still cured fine. Now, the second one I did, I did put in the pressure pot and there's not one bubble in there. And the mold held up beautifully and the colors are gorgeous. I put a little bit too much glitter in there, if anything. But especially with the flowers in me, it doesn't that look so, so sweet. The mold is very cute and the resin does cure quickly. You can see from when I did this, it cured in a couple of hours. I mean, you saw the time and it's solid. It was a little flimsy as I was taking it out, but I wanted to push it. I wanted to see how quickly I could demold it. And yeah, very, very quickly. If I'm doing projects for filming and I don't have a lot of time and space, Turbo is definitely one of those ones I would go to. Definitely, without question. And isn't that gorgeous with the reverse ink drop? I'm going to be doing more of those as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I hope this helped you. Come back and see what I'm up to next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. <laughs> A thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help my channel out. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll put up some stills at the end. Have a great week and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. <laughs>